here to the Champaign County Humane Society in Urbana is the first step to being a part of the Seniors for Seniors pet program. And now when you first walk in, you're going to hear lots of barking and see lots of very furry faces. But Adoption Supervisor Jackie McCartan walked us through the logistics of being a part of this amazing program. Um, so you come in, um, you know, we'll obviously greet you, you know, ask you what we can help you with and based on what you say will kind of show you around. Um, if you're looking for a cat, the cats are up in the front area. Um, if you're looking for a specific age, you know, we can kind of steer you in that direction. Once you have somebody that you think you like, you'll meet with them either outside if it's a dog or in our get acquainted rooms if it's, you know, a smaller dog or a cat. Um, and then if you decide that you kind of like their personality and they mesh well with you, um, you'll fill out an application. Our application takes 24 to 48 hours to process because we do things like check with your landlord or check the assessor and make sure you own your home. Um, we will check previous vet care just to make sure that if any existing pets, um, if you have any, they're all up to date on vaccinations. Obviously we don't want to introduce any new um, things into the home if your animal's not up to date on vaccinations. And then we'll just do a brief background check to make sure that um, you know, you don't have any violent criminal charges, but that's pretty much all we do. Now that you know the steps to getting involved with the Seniors for Seniors program, Illinois Animal Sciences professor Sarah Albert tells us the psychology behind why pet ownership can be beneficial in old age. So we tend to see when people interact with animals that it lowers stress levels, it lowers blood pressure, and that just comes from just petting an animal. Dog owners specifically have to take their pets out, and you do see that people are taking them maybe for like 2, 10 to 15 minute walks a day, which technically gets in close to their 30 minute allotment of exercise they need every day so a lot of that is probably just because they're more active they're getting around and it's really easy to engage in conversation with people because a lot of people have pets and so it's a really easy topic to start to talk about and get to know people and the good thing about animals is they provide unconditional love so you can have a really rough day or you can have um, a really bad day with your pet and they're still gonna love you no matter what and they're really non-judgmental their animal doesn't care you know if they're losing capabilities for speech or if they move around slowly Lower or you know things that make them feel uncomfortable with interacting with other people they're totally okay interacting with with an animal seniors can head over to www.cuhumane.org and hopefully you can start benefiting from a furry friend for CU citizen access I'm Taylor Brooks